All right, guys, we just got off the cruise ship, actually off the shuttle here that took us into town, but it is port day number three, and we're actually not in Japan anymore. We're back in a country we've already visited. <laughs> We're actually back in Korea. We're here on Jeju <laughs> Island, which if you guys have been watching our world trip series, then you know that we were just here like a month ago. So we're actually really excited to be back. We're excited to have some Korean food again. And uh, we're gonna hit a few spots that we didn't get to see last time. So you ready? Ready. Now, although we did a lot on our last trip to Jeju Island, we had a full two days. And today we have about five hours yep. because we have to be back on the cruise by a certain time. So that only gives us a few hours to explore some new places that we didn't get to last time. Our first stop today is going to be Jongbang Waterfall. It's rated as one of the top waterfalls in the island. So we're super excited to go check it out. Hopefully we can find this one. <laughs> Now, if you're just visiting Korea for the day or you're stopping here on a cruise, then in order to use public transportation, you'll need to buy a B money or a T money card, and you can get those at pretty much any convenience store, G25, 7-Elevens, um, and those should work, and they're just refillable. So pretty easy to use. But yeah, we just made it to the waterfall, so we're gonna go check it out. Tyler, I see the waterfall. This is a lot easier hike than the last ones we visited here on Jeju. <laughs> The 20 minute bus ride is 100% worth it coming out here. You actually get to go like pretty close to the waterfall. It is super busy and it costs about 2,000 won per adult. So I think it's worth checking out. The waterfall itself was truly incredible. It's right on the ocean. You get to climb out all over the rocks and it was incredible. One of the most beautiful waterfalls I really think I've ever seen. <laughs> we are gonna make the walk back up now. It's not too many stairs, but my best guess would be around 100, 200. So we're gonna head back up and go to stop number two on our port day here in Jeju. Also, there are a lot of signs here that say beware of snakes. So just keep that in mind if you're walking around. Stop number two on our port day here in Jeju is the Stop number two here on our little port day in Jeju is the Sojongbang waterfall. It's quite a bit more hidden, it's way less steps, and it's not as tall, but it's way less crowded. So if you're going to Chongbang waterfall, it's literally right next door to that. I would recommend coming just because there's hardly any people here, and it's absolutely beautiful on the ocean again and not nearly as hard to get to. Because we only have about an hour and a half left before we need to catch the last shuttle back to our ship, we're going to go check out the market, which is actually the same market we went to last time we were here, but we're going back because they have a ton of cute little shops and most importantly, Tyler Street Food. We did make it to Ole Market. Ole Market? Ole. <laughs> We've got about an hour left to explore the market. We're super excited to get some street food and just have some fun before we need to be back on board. Yeah, see some more oranges. <laughs> yeah. Get it, Tyler. Do you really want me to? I'm done. <laughs> it's so close. Yeah, it's so far away. I don't know if you guys watched our last video or not, but Tyler and I, last time we were in Jeju, got the matching orange hats because Jeju is really known for their oranges. So make sure to go check out that one because it's pretty good. <laughs> Taxi. First thing we got, pink pop. We actually got one each. The Tyler likes the regular kind, and I got the Toma kimbap kind, which is like mini kimbap. <laughs> Come on. Second thing we got is some fresh pressed orange juice. They actually have two kinds, tangerine and orange, and Jeju is really famous for that. And even though we got one last time, I wanted one this time too. <laughs> so good. I touched it. Oh! 
No, I can't get it. Our third snack today is this, which is called tak. It's like a really sticky, chewy rice cake. And although there's tons of different kinds, we got this one because it's filled with a sweet sugar paste. So they're good if you're looking for something a little sweeter. Oh, it's like dangling. Did you get nervous? Yeah, this car <laughs> turned into corner. I can't get it. Sad day. Yeah. We'll have to buy one at the market. Yeah. Okay. Are you trying one more time? The last thing we're trying today is a little lava looking volcano thing. I think it's some kind of pastry. Uh, Jeju Island is very famous for having Kala Mountain, so I believe that's what they're copying here. We got the orange flavor because, you know, Jeju. Oh. Ah, oh, so close. One more. <laughs> it doesn't come off. Can you give up? Yeah. <laughs> Although our time at the market was short, we were able to try quite a few new foods, including orange coffee and orange beer. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah, we didn't do that last time, so no. it was fun. These port days are always so short. I feel like we're just running around trying to cram as much in as we can. And I think next time we're going to like Yokohama? Yeah, some island on Japan. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. But if you want to see that adventure and see the rest of our cruise and time in Japan, make sure to subscribe. We always appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Port of Jeju was nice enough to give us these fans when we got off the ship. And I've been using mine like all day because it's really hot today. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Stop number two here on our port day here. We're gonna wait for this car to go by. All right, after I was done struggling there, first thing we got,